Hello, can you guys hear me? Hello. Still having some troubles here. Okay. I think we're in business now. Ooh, I'm gonna have to turn that down. That's loud. Uh, if you guys can hear me, put something in the chat room real quick. I wanna make sure this is working. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I had everything all set up the other day, and then my computer got hit with a bunch of viruses, and it's been kind of fucking me up. Alright, now I just gotta figure out one more thing, and then we can start. Okay, so I got that working. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so hey there, everybody. Good to have you here. I couldn't save them. Oh. There's nothing I can do. We have seven bodies that have dropped out of the sky. Uh, okay, so I have beaten this already. I'm going to turn down the settings just so the things will look a little smoother on you guys' side. I already have it on pretty low quality because I'm on a laptop, but let's just try to make that as easy for everybody to follow as possible. Alright, so let's start from the beginning. I missed a lot of secrets in these first couple of uh, levels because I hadn't figured out kind of how the exploration worked really well yet. But that's... I got better at it later, which is probably a good thing, because otherwise, like, 75% of this would be me obsessively searching for collectibles. So yeah, hopefully if this goes well, this may become a semi-regular thing. We'll see what happens. My internet can be kind of crap sometimes. So I don't know exactly how well it's going to work out, but we will try. Now the best thing is that I get to start with all my cool guns and upgrades and crap. So let's turn that audio down, goodness. I don't normally play with headphones, but man, this is loud. There we go. So let's see. I didn't even bother looking at the map when I first started this. But I quickly realized that it's super helpful. So 
Let's see what I missed the first time I came through here. Uh, or let's just go kill demons. Either one of those is good. So how's everybody, do how's everybody doing on this fine Thursday? Oh, Sir Bicklesworth, it is a very good game. It, it manages to capture everything that was fun about the old... Uh, the old first-person shooters while updating them in a way that doesn't make them feel dated. Ooh. <laughs> oh, those are fun. The glory kills. I like to imagine the his head Doom guy whenever he does one. That's one of those Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of lines. This game makes killing waves and waves of demons way more fun than it's been in a long time. Are you guys having any issues with the screen quality? It looks a little jumpy on my, my preview. That is one thing with this game, though, that does kind of become a problem, is eventually it does kind of just evolve into killing waves and waves of demons, which is still fun, but eventually it can get a little old, especially in later in the game when the some of the enemy types begin to kind of repeat a little bit. Yeah, that does look pretty bad on the on the thing. Oh, let me see if I can do anything to fix that real quick. I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but it looks like we're not going to be able to get around it. Try this. This. See if that helps at all. All right, let's see if that helps. But yeah, this game's... One of this game's charms, in my opinion, is that it makes you feel like such a badass all the time. Because pretty much everything in the game just goes on and on about how Doom Guy is this unstoppable killing machine. All right, is it still crapping out on you guys? Wait, there's a secret. Where is there a secret? Where is my secret? Here it is, or not. What is that? Oh wait, it's talking about secrets I already got. Oh, that's gonna get frustrating. Oh, and just an update, I have been working on the new Hell Universe episode. It's coming along pretty well so far. And I'm hoping that it'll be done sometime next week. But there's still no solid date on that. I don't want to waste my ammo for this gun, so I'm going to switch to the regular shotgun. Later on in the game, it becomes a little less viable. But this early on, just killing these guys, nothing wrong with a little shotgun action. Oh, he hit me. 
See, I'd like to make Schwarzenegger jokes on these, but this early in the game, you're kind of just punching them to death. You get more impressive ones when you hit the more impressive enemies. So how many of you guys have played this game? When I first heard about it, I actually wasn't that interested because, in my opinion, it's been a while since AAA titles have had anything that I've been super interested in. But my brother got it, and he said that it was amazing. And normally his opinion can be trusted when it comes to video games. I say normally because he likes Bioshock Infinite, and I thought Bioshock Infinite was a load of shit. <laughs> we have had some arguments about that, I tell you. Okay, see, what is this area over here? How do you even get over to that? That's one frustrating thing, is that the secrets in this game are hidden really, really well. So it's easy to miss stuff. I forgot just how weak the original shotgun is. I remember it being better than this. Because the super shotgun, it'll just take out weak enemies and like one shot. I'm gonna switch back to that actually. I can always just... Uh, now we're hitting the imps. As far as generic enemy goes, I kinda like the imps. They move around a lot and they're they're fun to just kind of chase after and shoot. Okay, see? This, this might be it. Yeah, okay. So this right here, if I'm right, is the first classic Doom room. What that means is there should be a lever around here that will open up that door and get me into a secret area. The problem is the levers can be kind of hidden sometimes. But they're always near the opening, so let me just poke around here for a second. Look for something that could open that door up. You'd think it wouldn't be that hidden since this is the first level. But like I said, this game really likes to hide all of its stuff. Oh, this might be it up here. The levers always look the same, which makes it a little bit easier to find them, but there's so much, like, machinery in the background that it's really easy to just walk past them and not realize. There's gotta be a way to open that thing. Down this way, maybe. That's a data log, but it's not the. See, this is why I'm glad that I went through and got a lot of the secrets the first time, because once I get on a secret hunt, Sometimes it takes a while. Growing up, I used to be really bad about being a completionist. But as I got older, I started to mellow out some. But games like this, they keep track of how many secrets you found. It gets me right in the OCD. Right. And you would not think they would make it this hard. you think they'd give you the first one as a... Like a gimme. I didn't even realize the Doom Rooms were a thing until my brother pointed it out. Let's 
So how's everybody been liking the new episodes of Steven Universe? Did y'all all watch the, the French episodes? I went ahead and did, just to avoid having to worry about spoilers. They seem cool. Seems like they're going back to some of the slice of life stuff from the early season. Which I'm cool with. Those are always fun. Although I, I did feel like they wrapped up the two major plot lines awfully fast. I mean, uh, Jim Drill and Super Watermelon Island were both good episodes, but I feel like we just blazed through those plot lines after it being a major thing for so long. Oh, where? Problematic Shade of Blue thinks she knows where it is. Did I pass by it already? I know this is probably riveting to you guys. This game is so much easier once you get the double jump. Alright, I'm going back to the door. I think Jasper's gonna come back. I think, if anything, this show, the show has proven that anybody can be redeemed. Although, we have established that the cluster is down in the earth, and Jasper fell through it, so maybe she's gonna get some quality time with the cluster for a while. Hang out with the gym mutants, all that. Alright, I'm back near the door. What am I looking for? Turn... There is nowhere to turn right, it's empty. Your secrets. Oh, the platform, that's where I came from. I don't think there's anything up here. Normally at this point I break down and look at a guide, but I'm trying to, to do this on my own. I may just have to come back and do this later. I don't want to spend the whole game just looking for a lever. Alright, let's get going. I can always come back on my own time and figure this shit out. It just, it taunts me. I like these little droids, because when you play through the first time, they have upgrades and it acts like you're gonna purchase stuff and then you just punch it away from the droid because Doom Guy is a fucking sociopath but in a good way hey guys man the, sh the super shotgun is so much more effective than your regular shotgun just blowing through these guys like they're tissue paper At some point, they would get the hint that they're not going to win this fight. Ooh! Chin up, buddy. I like to think that this game... Uh, I like to think that this game and... Uh, Dead Space take place in the same universe. They share kind of the same themes of like demons and cults and people willing to sacrifice themselves for the cults and whatnot. Except instead of survival horror, this is more like action horror. 
up. Boom! Twofer. Man, this game is so much easier in the early levels with this shotgun. But yeah, so I'm excited to see where Steven Universe is going to go from here, but I don't know if they're going to weave in a new plot line or if, or if we're just going to have character stuff for now. Which, I don't mind character stuff because we've been away from Beach City for a long time. It'd be kind of nice to have some lighter slice of life stuff after all the heavy character building, especially now that Lapis is on the team. But at the same time, I don't want them to completely abandon the the story arc stuff, because that's part of what makes the show great. So hopefully, we'll start weaving in a third plot line now, and have that underlying the, the lighter episodes. I can just run straight through these enemies. Ooh. I punched his head off. Just clean off. Oh, this guy wants. He saw his buddy go down, and now he wants some. Yeah, I did, uh, Chief Super Drew. I did watch the French episodes. It was too tempting not to, especially since they're already in English. Oh man, I heard something weird. I think it's hailing outside. Sounds like someone's hitting my roof with a hammer. It's the demons. They've come for me. They know what I'm doing and they don't like it. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna go see how bad it is, because this sounds like it's really coming down out there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... Hold on. Wow, yeah, it is hailing really bad outside. I don't know what's up. It was beautiful when I was outside just a couple, like an hour ago. Welcome to the UAC. Oh, now, man. I hope it doesn't mess up my car. I'm gonna be so mad if it messes up my car. I just got something fixed on it like a month ago. Pharmaceuticologist, you do have a point. The regular shotgun does have a pretty kick ass uh, mini explosion upgrade, but. Man, it's just so hard to argue with the immediacy of the super shotgun. Starting me off with a pistol. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient hey, intelligence Vega. assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Open the door. Open the door. Open the pod bay doors, please, Vega. Thank you, Vega. Main power offline. All entrances non operational.
Yeah, see, that is that is one problem. Sometimes the glory kills get a little repetitive when you have to do it to multiple. Whoa! What just happened? Ow, oh, my virus scanner popped up. Alright, sounds like the hail outside is starting to lessen up some. I'm gonna have to go check my car in a little bit and make sure it didn't screw anything up. So how's everybody doing? Anybody got any questions for me? Wanna know anything about how shit gets done? Oh, she doesn't look like a bad guy at all, does she? Okay, see, that is a secret up there. I just completely blew past most of this the first time. But right now, I have to double jump so I can get up to here. Let's see what we got. Oh. Okay, sometimes the secrets can be a little lame. They can't all be finding the little action figure guys. Which, that is such a nice addition to this game. Uh, some of the secrets you find are just little action figure action figure versions of yourself and the enemies. Colorado's pretty great. <laughs> uh, the weather's nice. There's stuff to do. I lived in Oklahoma before this, and Oklahoma's just dead. Man, I have never seen hail that bad before. That was some crazy stuff. Yeah, see, this game's not totally faithful to the original, though, because it's not super dark, and you actually have, like, light that you can shine on things, kind of. Like, you can sort of tell. Boomerine seems to, like, radiate his own light just a little bit, so you can always see in the dark. To play Doom 3, you had to have the shotgun separate from your uh, the rest of your stuff because we all know tape doesn't exist on Mars it's just impossible oh he was trying so hard I just ruined his dreams he just punched these early enemies to death they're pretty weak oh Got cocky. My sisters and brothers be So, Sir Bigglesworth, where do you live? It's been raining. They create for us. Stop. Ah, out of my face. Oh, I bet that's a secret. Yeah, this looks like another tomb room. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to look around for a little bit. I'll try not to take as long as I took on the last one, but I'm going to go crazy if I don't find at least one of these secrets. You can kind of tell sometimes where the lever will be just based on where everything's placed. But the lighting here is kind of kind of difficult. Yeah, see, that looks like... What the... Get out of my face. See, it's that platform up there, I think, is where I'm supposed to get. I think I can make that jump. Oh, I can! Okay, sweet. Yeah, okay, see, these are the levers that you're looking for. You pull these and it opens up the secret doom room. Oh, Sir Bigglesworth, you live in Oklahoma? See, you understand my pain. Okay, now I gotta be careful, because I think I've died more from falling than I have to actually enemies. Alright, so these Doom Rooms are cool, because look, like, super cool, HD shit, and then, boom, classic Doom. 
complete with classic sound effects, classic enemies. Beautiful. Oh, well, they're not classic enemies, but still, this is so cool. And once you, uh, once you find the Doom Room, you can actually play the classic... Is someone shooting me? Where the hell did you come from? Just fucking die. Yeah, after you unlock the Doom Room, uh, you can actually play the classic Doom map in the, the bonuses. Are you crying because you like Oklahoma or because you, you feel the same way I do about it? I feel so much better now that I found that doom room. Demon the secrets are like sub sustenance to me. So is killing demons. Now these guys explode. You gotta be careful with them. Especially when they ah, do that fly straight into explosive tanks. This early in the game with all my upgrades though, I'm I'm kind of invincible, so I shouldn't have too much to worry about. Especially because you're not even supposed to have armor this early in the game. You get that later on. Oh yeah, so you do understand my pain, so this is where Oklahoma's just a rough place to live in general. Oh, I can get up here. I wonder if there's secrets up here. Delicious secrets. I know there's a secret up there. I got that one already earlier. Demon presence eliminated. Pretty sure the secrets Mark around here too. And this is where you get the uh, chainsaw for the first time. The this guy here, you can tell he was using it uh, inappropriately. You always want to be careful around the chainsaw. It's a, it's really just a safety issue thing, you know. Talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's Soul Harvest. Uh, Alright, I think I got all the secrets up there. But I did miss one over... Just standing there. Ooh, how about a break, guy? Hey there, goodbye. That's one thing I do like about those guys, is that when you shoot them, they go flying. And oftentimes, flying into other enemies. Uh, you want a grenade, I can tell. Whoosh! As you can see here, Doom Guy is a fan of the Commando perk from Classic Call of Duty 4. Lie back and think of Mars. Okay, now see, this room vexes me, because I couldn't figure out how to get the shit that's in there. And it looks like there's good shit in there. Wait a minute. According to the map, there's entrance. Okay, wait, that might be it. Alright, hold on, I'm going to backtrack for a second. I think that might be how I get in there. Oh, yeah, let me turn down the, the audio some more. I didn't realize it was still loud. Yeah, I'm sure this is all a little rough, but it's my first time using Twitch, and it took me a little bit to get things set up, so just bear with me, and we'll get through this. Okay. Now, see, this is how you get to the secret area over here. Is it... Makes these things stop and then you can jump over to them. 
but I think that's how I get into that room. And I think maybe I just missed it the first time. It's a lot easier now that I have double jump. First time you just kind of have to run and hope. Okay, so jump over to this platform. Ugh. Go through this door here. And then... Okay, I feel like I should be able to open this door. Yeah, okay, see, there's all this... Hold on. What is all this gray area back here that I can't get to? Because this is all closed off. And this door doesn't open. But there's no way to get over there. Unless maybe it is down here. No, see, it's a... This is what I'm talking about. This game loves its fucking secrets. So we've got... Sir Bicklesworth, Problematic Shade of Blue, and who's the third person in the chat right now? Chief Superdue, pharma Pharmaceuticologist, somebody else? Oh, can I jump up higher? Hmm. This map feels deceptive. Because I feel like this should be relatively obvious right now. But this door just doesn't want to open. <sighs> I thought maybe I could system break. Sequence break. There's got to be a way up there. To become more than you ever dreamed you could be, talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's Soul Harvest. I don't think I want to go to the Soul Harvest, thank you very much. Maybe I'll come this way. Okay, this, this brings me up here. I haven't, uh, Sir Bicklesworth, I have not tried Overwatch yet, but it's definitely something I want to try, because it looks like fun. I had a lot of fun with vanilla Team Fortress 2 back on the Xbox. But it's just so complicated now, I can't be bothered to care. Okay. See, this should bring me back here. Can I jump down into that room? Or jump over to somewhere else from here? It sounds like the hail stopped at least. Man, that was bad. I wish you guys could have heard hear it. Could have heard it. Because it, it sounded like death. Man, this is what I'm talking about. This game is so freaking hard to figure out sometimes. I don't know if I'm just stupid or if they're just that good at hiding stuff. It looks like I'm supposed to be able to get over there somehow. The world is counting on us. How committed are you? Even with double jump, I can't jump that high. Let me try sequence breaking again real quick. I do have a Steam account, but it's my personal one. If I start doing this all the time, I may make a, uh, a Hell Universe Steam account. But it's going to depend on how often I end up doing this. Yeah, I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it, especially because you're not supposed to have the boots this early. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Here Damn it. We take pride in nurturing a growing workforce, and each year we harvest 
Maybe I can cheat. Jump up on top of this. Remember, kids, cheating is fun. Cheat all the time on tests, taxes, everything. But the most important piece of advice is to not listen to the advice of the Hell Universe. See, there's like no opening. No obvious way to get over there. This shit drives me crazy. I'm just gonna get going though. Like I said, if I try to find that secret, I'll be here all day. So right now I'm looking for the yellow key card so I can get through a door. Which there's a couple levels where you have to find a blue or a yellow key card. And it's frustrating to me because Doom Guy never seems to keep the fucking cards that he has. He always has to go find a new one, which, okay, maybe the cards are like sequenced to different things or something, but come on, Doom Guy. You could at least try. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Green. Uh, they use color to kind of give you an idea of where you can go. Since this is green, maybe I can get on this and shimmy over. Oh, or maybe it's lighting my way to go this way. Yeah, that's a dead end. But yeah, whenever you see green, it means you can probably go that way. So this is where I'm supposed to go right now. Oh, I'll show you guys the chainsaw because it's awesome. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then you get ammo. Because, you know, that's how that works. Lumberjacks are always very, very full up on ammo for this reason and this reason only. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get it. I see, the way my thing's glowing, that means that this here is a secret area. But I can't get in there yet, so i got to come back. What's frustrating is that sometimes the game will tell you there's a secret, and you'll have to backtrack later. But then other times, you have to get the secret then because it'll shut down the backtracking behind you, so... There have been times where I thought, oh, maybe I have to go unlock something and then come back. But that was not the case, and I just lost a secret because of it. So, I, I probably will eventually break down and use a guide to 100% this, just because it kind of pisses me off how hard it is. Uh, Sir Bigglesworth, thank you. I had a really fun time recording that. It's been stuck in my head for like a week. And I decided to get my sister involved to have a little fun. Just running from me. Just got a little shotgun. It ain't gonna do you no harm. Look. See? Totally missed that guy. Boom. Didn't even feel a thing. But yeah, I... Ever since the other day... Oh, wow. That was brutal. Ever since the other day, I got a bunch of viruses on my computer because I was trying to download something. Uh, I don't know how many people remember it, but Pink Panther's Passport to Peril was one of my favorite games growing up. It's, like, impossible to buy now. So I found a site where you could download it, and it was just full of viruses. Which, you know, I thought I'd be safe with an obscure PC game from the late 90s, but... I guess hacker's gonna hack. Ever since then, I, th I think I got most of the really bad viruses off without too much issue, but there's been one or two that I just can't seem to get rid of, and it's frustrating. I don't think they're doing anything too malicious. I think they're just, like, adware. But it's, it's frustrating, because I know that I should be able to get rid of them, but my virus software doesn't pick them up. So I may have to upgrade to a better virus software to get rid of them. I'm not sure
sure how the legality of cover albums works in Pickles with. I'd have to look into that. See, I don't know if Doom Guy has super strength or if the suit just gives him augmented strength, because uh, we didn't see it earlier, but in the opening cutscene, you manage to break out of shackles when you're not wearing your suit and then smash a demon's head with your bare hands. And that seems like way more power than just a normal human should have unassisted. Sometimes this becomes a game of who's still left. There we go. Alright. So there's a secret up here. And I think I know where it is, because I remember this from the first time I played. Man, my hands are just covered in blood. Yeah, up here. This should be a secret, I think. Oh, no, wait, this is just back the way I came. So that means the secret's down here. There's not a door here, though. See, this, this is what drives me crazy. Because this is saying that there should be something right there. And I don't know if I go through that that door if that's... Look, it should be just to my, to my right. So it's under here. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, that's where... Yeah, it's down in that secret area I was talking about earlier. I gotta unlock the security to get in there, though. I don't know how I missed that the first time. I don't think it does fall under fair use if you do a cover album, because the... The lyrics and the, the music is copywritten, too, not just the not just the uh, singing. I don't know, though. I'd have to look into it. I mean, I like to think I'm a good singer, but I can't imagine there's a whole lot of people that would pay money to buy an album from me. Okay, wait, this is the other side of the door, I think. This is, this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Oh no! Oh, that was so spooky. Okay, here's an area that I haven't been before. Got to hand it to you. <laughs> Man, I just popped him. Oh, what the hell? It dropped me right back here. Why would it do that? Ugh. Access. <laughs> Oh, what is that? Oh, I think the game glitched out. That's just an enemy. Oh, that was that was actually kind of spooky. Okay, let's see if that hatch opened. I don't think so, because these are still locked down. No, that's the wrong way. Poopy Sperry. Spookies. 
skin, skeletons, and shivers down your spine. Welcome to the UBC's Mars installation, located in the vast Alice Impact Basin. This high-tech mining and research facility is pushing the boundaries of the imagination each and every day. Right, see, so this is the end of the level. Or, it, if I go through here, I don't think I can come back. And there's all this over here that I haven't been to. And I don't think I come through here again. Whatever. You, you guys didn't come here to see me wander around empty corridors looking for secrets. I'll, I'll have to do that on my own time. Let's get to some demon killing. Is the, uh, is the stream still glitching out for you guys? Because it looks like it's still having some issues on, on my preview. I live in an apartment complex, so I'm having to share bandwidth with everybody. And on top of that, in Colorado and a lot of places, because it's the mountains, it's hard to get decent internet, decent internet anywhere. Oh, these mofos. I hate these guys. That shield they have is a, just a bitch to get through. That's why I just usually chainsaw them and be done with it. Is this another instance of I have to kill everybody or can I... See, that, that, that is one thing that gets frustrating, is it, it would be nice if sometimes you could just run past the enemies to the door, but it automatically locks the doors until you kill all the enemies. So running away is not an option. Although, I guess it makes sense, because Doom, Doom Guy would not run. He's basically a killing machine. You want to play? Alright. You throw your fire, I throw mine. Boom. And now he's missed. Yeah. Shotgun's better for close up. Dodged that by attacking me. I almost feel bad for killing him. All right, so you, you get the hammer. Boom. Did I get him? I did. So tell me, all three of you, what kind of stuff would y'all like to see more of? I'm new to a lot of this, so I'm trying to figure out what you guys like and what I can do more of to get people on the channel excited for more content. Oh, there's a secret. Okay, I'm finding that. I'm in a tiny little area. This should not be that hard to find. I swear to God I'll find it. Okay, so that's where it's going to let me out at. So that means the entrance... Okay. I think it's back where I came from. So let me activate this real quick. Doom guy is nothing if not pragmatic. Blocking your access to the facility scanner. 
Come to the Vega terminal, and I'll give you what you need. Thank you, Optimus bad guy. Okay. Yeah, I definitely can't jump up that high. But I think I know how I need to get in there. I think it's back around this way. Of course, there's going to be more enemies now. Yeah, I think. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, okay, so I need to get on that, I think. On the platform there and go backwards. So I'm going to ignore this bad guy for now. Jump up here. I wonder if some of these you can only get. Because, like, I don't think I can make that jump with a double jump. So now I go this way and this should take me to the secret. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so that's how I get down. But what I want is to come over here and get the little doom guy. Look at him. Isn't it adorable? Bro fist. <laughs> I love it. Doom guy is such a nerd sometimes. Yeah, see, I'm at, I'm at the part of the game where I'm not going to be going back there, so those secrets I was looking for, I just missed them. Because they make it really hard to figure this shit out sometimes. I mean, not that having difficult secrets is a bad thing necessarily, but god damn, a hint of something would be nice. Fuck you, shield guy. You're that guy at the party. Boom. Boom. This game does get a lot more difficult later on. These first enemies are just really weak. And they start throwing a lot of shit at you at some point. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. That opened the security thing, so now I can go back and get into those secret areas. I just have to backtrack a little bit. I'm doing something. Jesus. Just rude. Alright, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit, and if, if this doesn't Open those secret areas, I'm gonna lose my shit. Let's see. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes they make you do backtracking, and then other times you have to figure it out right away. Like, it would just be nice to know ahead of time if I'm gonna have to backtrack. Okay, now I'm mad. Maybe that other one. I did activate the security station. Come on. This one? Okay, fuck it. I'm officially kind of mad now.
How do I get back? Access granted. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, wait, maybe this is it. Oh, I swear if it was that easy. Oh my god, I am so stupid. Alright, so these guys are cool. If you find them, you can take this thing from their suit and it lets you upgrade your suit. Almost got a chance to hurt me. Yeah, yeah. They give you a lot of logs to look through. Oh, spoilers. Look away if you don't want to see the f some of the later bosses, but I want to read this real quick. Oh, okay. I did already read that. Now, should be... Hopefully this should get me to the other secret areas. Now that I've opened up the security terminal, I should be able to go back. Oh, see? This is another cool thing. A lot of the secrets let you find guns early. So you're not supposed to get this gun, the plasma rifle, until the next level but I found it here early. Now, where am I? Now I should be able to come in here, get all this fun stuff. Are you, are you kidding? This is still offline? there something right here wait why is it still saying there's a secret here it's supposed to stop doing that once you already is there another secret right here Or is it on the other side of the wall? I don't know. That one can wait. I'm not gonna do this forever. Welcome to the UAC's Especially not when that didn't unlock both of those things like I thought. Oh, these are fun. These are power-ups. This is Berserk, I think. So now I can just punch everything to death. Unfortunately, there is not anyone to punch. Which means Doomarine just has to deal with his rage issues. Come on, climb up. Really? I can't make this with the double jump? I can crush people's heads with my bare hands, but I can't make that? Okay. Gotta go the long way, then. I'll probably be done after this level, since, I mean, I'm having fun with you guys, but there's only three of you. Not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more of a turnout.
And I mean, really, it's the, the comment section that keeps this alive. And with so few of you, it's kind of hard to keep it interesting. I'm not super great at being a Let's Player yet. So I supplement actual talent by talking to you guys. Also, I can't hear myself, but uh, hopefully you guys should notice that the audio quality is a lot better because I'm using my nice microphone. I know it's still probably pretty glitchy, but... I'm actually not that big a fan of per first person shooters in general, but this game is just so solid. My brother was the big FPS head for a while. So how did you guys get into Steven Universe? I actually, uh, I think I've said this before, but when I first started watching Steve Universe. I didn't like it at all. I, I just kind of kept watching out of morbid curiosity because I didn't understand why people liked it so much. And then eventually I got hooked because it's an amazing show. But those first... The first half season is just rough. Especially when you don't know that it gets better. Alright, you know what? I need to bring the broom. I feel like this rocket launcher should be doing more damage to these low-level enemies. I already got the secret over there on my first playthrough. See? That's what I'm talking about. I hit him with how many rockets? And just instantly he shields back. Bullcrap is what it is. I'm really kind of disappointed by this. This rocket launcher is not anywhere near as good as advertised. One thing that kind of throws me off is that these fire extinguishers kind of look like levers and they don't explode when you shoot them as you know they're supposed to okay shit we got another doom room there is almost literally nowhere they could hide this though so let's just take a quick look see if I can find the lever bet you they just hit it down here in this little floor area Where it's dark. I didn't even know you could get down here at first. I thought this was just a bottomless pit. Clearly you can get down here though. So there must be something down here. You would think. Alright, this is a secret area up here. Maybe this is where they put the lever. Uh-huh. Look at this. A dead end. This is the secret area. I don't like that it glows when you find secret areas that you've been to already, because then you can't collect the secret and you feel left wanting. we're playing this game now. Yeah. You can always tell the Doom Rooms because they're just behind a locked door and they're little areas like this. So, it's gotta be... It's 
It's gotta be around here. They don't normally put the levers very far away from the door. If I can't find it here in just a second, I'll move on. But man, I hate how well hidden these things are. The, f the really frustrating thing is that your secret finder doesn't glow when you're near uh, the lever. It only glows when you're near the door. So you can walk right by the lever multiple times and it not tell you there's a secret there. Alright, whatever. I wonder if this is death. No, it must be. It won't let me jump over there. Yeah, yeah. Talking about plot, talking about plot. I wish you could skip this. You cannot, apparently. So basically, long story short, uh, turns out that energy from hell is a clean, efficient fuel source, so we decided to give them a little bit of freedom. And that turned out to be exactly as bad an idea as you'd think it would be. Because, you know, when I think clean energy, I think there's nothing like the whales of the damned running my car. That's how you get stuff like Christine, guys. It's just horror riding 101. I don't know for sure, but my brother and I think that this voice actor is the voice of Optimus Prime doing his evil voice. But maybe we're just racist against tall robots. Yes, 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 come on. Let me out of here. I've been trapped by the narrative. Oh, now the lights are red. Now it's super spooky. Shit's going down. Can I leave now? Do I have to push something? Alright. Maybe this door is open now. Oh, it is open now. So, I guess this wasn't a doom room. Oh, this is just the exit. Ugh, now I feel stupid. Alright. Well, I think this is the end. I managed to find a couple of secrets. Still missed some, but yeah. I think I'm gonna get going for now. Uh, thanks to the guys who showed up. I know that there wasn't a whole lot of you, but it was nice having you. This is a fun little experiment. Uh, I may do it again. I might pick a different game next time. Uh, I kind of expected this to have a little bit more fodder for me, but I think when I'm not responding to it for the first time, my reaction's a lot less muted, because there was a lot of cussing the first time I went through this game, because it gets really hard at some point. But yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to log off for now. Thanks for watching the channel. Uh, you guys are great.